Life begins at conception. Psalms 119 says, Your hands made me and formed me. Being from the biblical side of it, I've always believed that life does occur at the point of conception. As a Catholic, I do believe life begins at conception. That is built into our legislative findings currently in law. Someone had mentioned yesterday that uh, this is unconstitutional separation of church and state. Well, the fact of the matter is, I know of no greater way of affirming the natural rights of man than to declare that they are a gift from our Creator. God doesn't give us a choice in this area. He is the creator of life. And I, being made in his image and likeness, don't get to choose to take that away no matter how that child came to be. And what makes you valuable is that you equally share the image of our creator. You are his work of art. To me, life begins at conception, and my God doesn't give that option. You have inherent dignity protected by the Constitution and inherent dignity provided by God. to offer an amendment ending in point one eight h it sure. has been distributed i move for its adoption the only question i have is a rhetorical one and that is how many of our constituents agree with the statement that god is the author of human life that statement itself is in violation of the separation of church and state it's a it's an anti-constitutional statement in and of itself and i ask the body to oppose the amendment